hi friends welcome back to my channel or if this is the first video you're seeing thanks so much for stopping by today we're gonna do the set that you just seen in the previous video and we are gonna design it as a kind of like preset that you can wear or a press on set that you can wear these tips I got online from Amazon I'll put the link inside of the description box I also got the little stand on Amazon some of my favorite brushes are kind of seen in screen here and I did already size from thumb to pinky so we're gonna go ahead and put them on with the sticky tabs today additionally just some of the things that we'll have in regards to the design so that you can be set up to is gonna be some blooming polish we're also going to use some black polish today these will go together in the set to like work together i guess um i also have this fanciest or fanciest however that's pronounced color um which would be like a nude base we also have this really pretty blue from mccart it doesn't have a name so i just wanted to show the number there and then we are going to be using the Savvy Land paint pots, which I think are a very good and very affordable Young Nails Mission Control gel pot dupe. And if you're interested, that video is just a couple back, so please feel free to watch it and then leave any comments below if you have any questions, of course, about anything that we do in today's set. To begin though, we are just going to go ahead and start off by painting the bases of the nails. So for the pointer finger and the ring finger, those are both going to be black. And this is by Venalisa. This is just the black that I use currently. Um, if you know a really good black, I'm looking for one that's like super opaque in one coat. Um, and I'm very open to any recommendations at this point. Next though, we are going to paint the middle finger blue and then we will paint our pinky finger and the thumb that like shimmery beige or tan color from Fanciest. I do off camera do two coats and cure for 60 seconds in between and that's what they will look like. So let's go ahead and zoom in a little bit so we can get started on the art. I always start with whatever nail I think is going to take the longest time. So at the beginning of my sets I like to spend the most time on that because I think I'm the most like attentive to detail and then of course as you're going on in the set the easier ones will be done a lot faster so i think it just helps like with the time flow but i am going to show you kind of how i did the paisley print now when i did it i was recording on my phone so i didn't have a reference picture so i was doing my bandana or paisley print purely off of like what I remember in my head it looks like and I should have grabbed a bandana or like paused the video and took a look at like a actual bandana <laughs> I think that would have helped but I hope you still enjoy the outcome and you get like what I was going for and it's just I guess my version of it so sorry um i was doing the voiceover and kind of rambling but i did end up using that savvy land white gel paint to set down like the initial corner of the bandana that i wanted to put on the nail and i used the red striper brush from the savvy land six piece liner um, brush set on Amazon. The information for everything that I use today will also be in the comments, but if you have any questions, please let me know and I can definitely point you in the right direction. So then next I went ahead and just took some of my swipe solution, but I'm going to go in and just kind of clean up those lines and then we are going to take a dotting tool with that same gel liner pot and place little dots next to it and then cure it so we're all ready for the next step. Moving forward, I switched over to this liner brush, still part of that same Savvy Land six piece collection from Amazon. And again, that same gel paint pot. And we are pretty much gonna use this during the entire video and kind of get everything mapped out. So you're gonna want a really, really thin line and this is gonna go in to 
just outline further the differentiation between the pattern of the paisley print and then keep in mind because we did already cure the first part with the little dots then we are more than like able to go in and really clean up these lines to make them sharp before curing one of my biggest things with doing art at least when you're first starting is when you like something just make sure to cure it so you can freeze what you have saved that way in case you move on to a different line or more of the pattern if it doesn't come out okay that's totally fine you can wipe it away without wiping away everything that you liked beforehand if that makes sense <laughs> um so next for this design once i kind of put the little dots down i went in back with that little brush we were using previously and started kind of connecting little tails to the dots so that they look like semicolons um or like commas i guess that would make more sense and I just did them different ways because i think that's what i thought paisley looked like um again no reference picture so you're kind of taking this journey with me but at least that was my next step was just drawing those little tails on these little like fish commas <laughs> and then we'll cure that for 60 seconds and move on to the next part of the design okay friends and then this is where i show my absolute mistake so for whatever reason i thought that i would be able to go in and kind of outline those little fishy colon things um or little commas and it just was not <laughs> working it was horrible like i don't know if my brush was too big or maybe because it's paint so it's a little bit thicker instead of just a polish but such a fail it's horrible let's go ahead and wipe this away and then move on to the next part okay so here what i'm gonna do is pretty much that same design but instead of filling them in right now, I chose to keep them hollow to see how I like them. And then I ended up filling them in later. So first I'll do the outline of what I think that shape is and connect it. And then do the same exact thing, but the opposite way. So they're like facing each other. And then next I'm going to take that same brush just because I don't have a dotting tool this tiny and place little dots around this shape kind of like outlining it and also go around that with just like a really thin outline to kind of further i guess complicate the design just so it looks a little more intricate about all the angles but i definitely wanted you to see kind of like all the work before i put it into the lamp to final cure for 60 seconds 
and next I went in with some of my McCart colors so I took a white that same blue I also put a lighter kind of like baby powdery blue and then just a little bit more of that white and we're going to go ahead and get started on marbling the pointer finger and the ring finger. The way that I do that is by taking some blooming gel. Here it's just going to be the Beatles blooming gel. And you want to put a decent layer, not overly thick, but definitely enough for the colors to kind of saturate and spread very, very easily. And you are going to be taking a flatter paintbrush and kind of scooping the color and then laying it very gently instead of like painting it on. So you kind of want to let the paint just fall off or like slide off of the brush onto the blooming gel and let it spread for a decent amount of time or at least until you like it and then get that cured for 60 seconds. And this is what it'll look like when it's done. So now I'm going to take that same McCart white gel polish and kind of put it down on the very bottom of the thumbnail. This is going to end up being like an outlined French. Um, so it's like a little bit thicker at the bottom and it gets really thin up the sides. Before I do so though, I go in and just make sure to clean up the bottom line with a little bit of that swipe solution to make sure that it's to my liking of like how thick I want the end of the nail to be. And then keep in mind, I am going to file at the very end. So I made it a little bit thicker because I knew I was going to file some of the length off. So next, taking this Savvy Land liner brush here, it's going to be the red color. I'm going to use that same gel pot we've been using and use that to taper my side lines for the French, starting off on the bottom and then going to make it a little bit thinner, the higher that it gets up the side. Um, and also going in again with more of that swipe solution just to clean up the lines before finally curing. I am going to keep this in real time so you can enjoy some music or you can fast forward. But personally, I find it super therapeutic to watch someone do their line work and clean it up. So enjoy. <laughs> Every other word is a hum, you okay? Could 
Alrighty friends, so this is where we're at with the steps all completed before we put rhinestones. Um, I am going to go ahead and add to the French nails only. So first we're going to take, of course, my favorite glue, which is by Enel Couture. It's their DIY gel. Um, you can also use their diamond gel, but today I just went ahead and used this. We're going to start off with the thumb and apply some close to the cuticle area. And little by little, we're going to add as needed. So I want to first start off with the biggest piece of jewelry that I'm going to use. And then from there, I'll go in and start adding the smaller stones and some of the accent colored stones that are going to be that blue. So first we'll position this one and then do a quick flash cure. And that's only going to be for about 5 to 10 seconds. Then going back around the sides here, in the DIY gel, I'm going to fill in some of the empty space with some other AB crystals. And I'm going to put three on each side of the top there just to kind of make it a little bit fuller. And it just looks so pretty already under the flash cure light. The UV light really makes it sparkle so you can see what it will look like. But... I think it's pretty already so let's go ahead and get our blue stones on and we're just going to put them right underneath the pearl just so that way there's something a little bit shiny under there. I'm also going to go in with some smaller AB crystals so that they can have like a multi-dimensional shine and they're going to go right underneath the blue just to kind of tie in the colors up top as well. And then I'll place some of the blue little crystals along the side of the pearl and the side of the larger stones up top. And this is what this nail looks like completely done. I think it's really, really pretty. So we're going to move on to our pinky nail. Again, starting with the biggest um, like accent piece or embellishment, you want to put that down first. And then you can always fill in the negative space with the smaller AB crystals or whatever smaller stones and embellishments you want to use. And this is where we are after the final cure. I am going to go ahead and use both of my Koopa top coats. The red top here is going to be the glossy top coat. And I'm going to use that on every nail except for the bandana nail. And then on the like paisley print bandana nail on the middle finger, we are going to take the matte top coat and cure for a total of 60 seconds. Once those have been cured, it will look like this. And I am going to go in now to do my finalizing steps, which is going to be my filing. This is done on the sides just to make sure to take down any bulk from any of like the UV glue or the resin that we use to adhere any of the stones. It's also just going to clean up the lines that we did earlier and it will get rid of like that little piece at the end of the nail itself like where the number is so it'll just make it a lot more polished and also help out with the shaping definitely want to say thank you so so much for your support i really really appreciate it definitely a big thank you to you please enjoy the rest of this video and i hope you like the way that these came out Again, if you have any questions, leave me a comment below and I promise to answer every single time. Thanks for watching. Have a wonderful day. Bye.